today we are going to sub see about two branch parallel resonant circuits here the resistor rl and the inductor l rl and rc rc is the resistor and capacitor is connected in parallel here rl is connected to the one voltage source so the two branch parallel circuit rlc circuit in which one branch contains resistor and the inductor and the other branch contains resistor and capacitor so total admittance y equal to 1 by rl plus j into xl plus 1 by rc minus j into xc multiplying numerator and denominator of each term by conjugating of denominator we got y equal to rl minus j into xl divided by rl plus j xl into rl minus j xl plus rc plus j xc divided by rc plus j xc into rc minus j xc that is equal to rl minus j xl divided by rl square plus xl square plus rc plus j xc divided by r square c plus x c squared so we know that a plus j b into a minus j b equal to a plus b a square plus b square so we got r l by r l square plus x l square plus r c by r c square plus x c square plus j into x c by r square c plus x square c minus x l by r square l by x l square at resonance condition susceptance b equal to zero so x c by r squared c plus x squared c minus x l by r squared l plus x squared l equal to zero so x c by r squared c plus x squared c equal, equal to x l by r squared l by x l squared so cross multiply the term we got x c into r squared l plus x squared x l squared is equal to x l by r squared c plus x x squared c substituting x c equal to 1 by omega naught c x l equal to omega naught l so we got r squared l omega naught squared l squared divided by omega naught c is equal to omega naught l into r squared c plus 1 by omega naught square plus c square so r squared l plus omega naught squared l squared equal to omega naught squared l c into omega naught squared r c squared c square plus 1 divided by omega naught square c squared is equal to r l square plus omega squared l squared equal to l by c omega squared r c square plus 1 that is equal to r l square plus omega naught squared l squared equal to omega naught squared r c squared l c plus l by c so omega naught squared l squared minus omega naught squared r c squared l c equal to l by c minus r l squared so l c into omega naught squared into l by c r c squared is equal to l by c minus r l so simplified we get omega naught equal to 1 by root of l c square root of r l squared minus l c by r r c squared minus l by c so finally we got omega naught equal to 1 by root of l c okay thank you